Ha! Ah, welcome back to the Boy Time channel. Today we are reacting to Peppa Pig, uh, Peppa, Peppa's Adventures, the album. Um, I have not heard this artist yet. I've been meaning to. I haven't to. either. Uh, there's been rumblings in the underground about one Peppa Pig. Um, she's been coming up. Uh, and, mm. you know, I love hip hop. I, I want to explore every facet of the genre. And Peppa mm. Pig has slipped past my radar for far too long. People were yeah. uh, comparing it to Donda, saying it's better than Donda. Donda's one of the best rap albums of last year. I liked it very much. Um, so, you know, saying that is kind of a big, a big thing. It's like, whoa, you step into the king immediately. That's and true. I know recently Kanye's been uh, beefing with Peppa Pig as well through mm. his Instagram. So, uh, I mean, if you're on Kanye's radar this hard, you got you to be something, I think. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, you know, we've got some heavy hitters on here too. Like some of these, I think, uh, were on the top charts. I'm pretty sure when this album came out last year, hmm. like, um, uh, I think recycling may have, um, yeah, that one's got quite a uh, bit, bit play of plays on it. So yeah, I don't I know. I think it. it smashed some sort of record on, um, I think it was top 200 for like 50 weeks, maybe. Oh, I think, okay. or, I think it overtook, uh, old town road the longest oh. number one actually knocked wow. blinding lights out of the circuit if i'm correct on that you can correct me if i'm wrong actually no one's gonna correct you because that's true so real. <laughs> so yeah i don't know much about peppa pig but i guess we'll find out no. today um what she's got to offer i'm excited i think um, she's british which does knock a few points off of the yeah you know, okay it's good a to know, bit I guess. Bad, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Better I've liked many a British, British artist. So yeah. sometimes, if you're British and the music is like so good, it transcends you being British. So that's true. Let's just jump in. Uh, okay. Peppa's Adventures title track, first track. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know who's producing, but I don't know. Violence hitting. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a Michael made it kind of flair to it. Mm. Michael D. Really good on the ad libs, too. Mm. Channeling her Playboy Cardi influence. Oh. Right. Yeah. Also prevalent these days. Right. It sounds like this might be the start of the narrative. Mm. Maybe we might Maybe. be some sort of Lord of the Rings. Some kind I can of see fantasy that. adventure that's going to be. It's a very theatrical quality going on here. Yeah. It's a good mantra happening. Mm. This is the, the blood of this album. Mm. Oh, the breakdown? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, the man. breakdown? The key change? God. You can't do a key change on the first track. Your intro. Like too much. You gotta, you gotta work us in. You can't just throw it at us right away. It's pretty funny. I thought it was silly. First yeah, track. Slapper. Great track. I can see why Fantoni gave this a 10 already. For sure. Only once on in. Yeah, I, I didn't want to like, it, you know, so. place out my, my like, you know, when Fantano gives something a 10, that's a big praise. So you don't want to go right. into an album like expecting like amazing greatness, but this was pr pretty fantastic mm -hmm. um, as an opener. I think lyrically yeah. she is, she's got it down. She's like, Hey, yo, listen up. The start of a narrative. We're going on an adventure. You better buckle up or get out. This is a serious album. Yeah. I mean, we'll have no to jokes. see how this compares with um, the new Tyler, the Creator album that also featured an adventure. That's true. true. There could be a little bit of influence and crossover there. It could be. I think Pep is really tackling uh, these these overarching like social and political themes, though. She's, I did she's, notice that. She's getting yeah. the pen game down where she's really going to dive into that. So I'm buckled up and I'm ready. I believe the line was meeting new faces. And mm. I, I interpreted that as meeting different people of different social classes and races. Really thoughtful. And and, and accepting our differences. Absolutely. And kind of coming to terms yeah. with that. And I, I really appreciate that as a, a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i mean you know just all gas no brakes she's just going for it i love it you can't you can't be out here just waiting your turn you gotta take it that's what she's doing right here 
It's great. Some of the best rap albums have those intros where they just gun it immediately. That's how you really mm. draw a listener in. But even the instrumental here, the violin, the breakdown, the movement and flowing, it's got mm. some Chaos Space Marine vibes. One of the best oh. tracks of this year. Channeling that, really using mm. that violin as a driving force on the track. So, fantastic opener. What's yeah. next for us? Yes. Perfect, perfect day. Perfect day. Perfect? Oh. You're telling me this day is perfect? Okay. Okay, get any better. Okay. Let's hear her out. Skipping with skipping? Ooh. That's brave. She's got that rhyme scheme already going. She do. Mm, the xylophone? <sighs> really, really branching out with what she's working with here. Such a sunny and bright instrumental here. that vibrato too mm. yeah the snort ad lips are really really unique too right you know i was wondering when the pig was going to come in mm. it, it is prevalent mm. throughout the album that's very interesting george an elderly person mm. george bush i think oh I george like bush oil. is an, an outdated evil man that's right He's an old man who's a dinosaur. Yes. And he also went to war in Iraq over oil, which is dinosaurs. Fossil fuels. Mm. Yeah. Wow. See what I'm saying here? It's a triple entendre. Triple entendre. So that's like some sarcasm now at bringing up these like these harsh issues of like war and famine and oil crisis and then saying mm. it's a perfect day. Yeah. Really interesting satire here. Mm -hmm. Interesting. In a muddy puddle. Mm. Do get all dirt. This is obviously a reference to Flint, Michigan. Oh, oh my God, that's true. What an artistic statement she's making. Powerful track. Powerful. I thought it was. Yeah. I thought it was a very nice and peaceful song when I started. I, I was. I had no clue before. She diving, attacking George Bush, attacking the unjustified Iraq War in the early two thousands. The oil crisis is that surrounded it. The U.S. Army going in and taking oil away, mm -hmm. um, and then you know the irony that comes through in the chorus. That satire, yeah. fantastic. I think you know, like bringing up these very serious topics, and then you end the song with a laugh, where it's, it's really like punch we're in laughing face. in the face of all of these atrocities. Exactly. It's really it says a lot about society. Is mm -hmm. really what it comes down to. I think. Yeah, I was wondering if she was kind of taking on the role of society in that track, kind of just making this giant satire out of all of it. You know, not being herself, but being society instead. Really powerful track, in my opinion. I was not expecting heavy hitters like this. I mean, on a nine-track album, I know you got to, like, pack some stuff in there, but two tracks in already. We got a narrative going. We got these heavy-hitting, politically charged, energetic tracks. This going at the 43rd president. That's fantastic. In 2021. Time says. It's well deserved, mm. I think. And yeah. timely. Well overdue. Yeah. Yes. Nobody has said that before. No. Um, track three is Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Hmm. Could the that bird could be, be the eagle? Hmm. I don't, I don't want to speculate before the song starts. Okay. Just going art rock on this one. Yeah, some inspiration from Fun Some Night Circus songs, actually. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of more emphasis on that uh, British British accent here. Mummy. It's not the sound that animal makes, Peppa. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Have to dig deeper here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's layers. Maybe the genius. Genius might give us an explanation if we can't mm. figure it out. Uh, this she might be sound. confused. Freddy Fazbear? I didn't know this was going to be a scary album. See that cadence there? That triplet quick. 
She's on it, bro. You know, I'm not exactly sure what's happening in this song, but I can thoroughly enjoy the instrumentation mm. that is happening right now. Going very experimental already on the third track. And there. the fade out. And the fade out. Wow. She got her art rock on, a little bit of experimental elements from a whole bunch of different genres. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I was a little confused because mm -hmm. she was saying some animals wouldn't do the things that they usually do. It was a little weird. But I think this is a very conscious look at social media and uh, mm -hmm. how people follow kind of a hive mind on, you know, tweet like Twitter. You know, oh, it's, wow. it's a very hive minded platform. You get in that, that little bubble and all of a sudden, like, you know, dogs aren't saying wolf anymore. Because they're saying tweet yeah. on the bird app. On, on the bluebird. Yeah. Right. Powerful She's stuff. been very public about how much she hates Twitter. So it's true. It could be connected. All right. Well, Recycling is next. This is the big hit. The big this hit. The big hit. I can't believe I haven't heard this one before since it's just such a massive hit. It was on the summer hits of 2021. I think it was on Obama's uh, favorite songs, too. Oh, yeah. That, oh, maybe that's sorry. where I saw it then. Maybe, Probably. yeah. I don't listen to music, though, so I could be wrong. Oh. But yeah, uh, This is my first album. True. Um, recycling, track four. Ooh, the, the recycling sounds. Oh, dude. Industrial, I like it. How, how do you come up with that? It's pretty sick. Oh, it's a duet. Mm, good message. Kind of that like voicemail type thing. Ah, yeah. Come to the album. Yeah. It's good kid, Mad City Limes. Was that a uh, Greta Thunberg uh, cameo? Mm, maybe. It might have been. She's also British. <laughs> oh, tin cans of beans. Mm. Oh, the Heinz Toast. beans, they're all gone. Yes. Mama, where did the beans go? <laughs> I recycled your briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is like a fishing for fishies type thing, where it's like an environmental message being sent mm. here. Yeah. We got the whole choir going. Okay. I can see why this went up against Donnie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We get that harmonization. Mm. And some earworm too. You can see it being on the top floor. Right. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. Maybe that, that's what Unfortunately. the message is. Yeah. Recycle. Maybe it's a it's a little bit of a wink and a nod. Recycle your recycle. bean cans. Recycle your bean cans. Yes. You should recycle everything and anything. Yes, that's right. the message of the song here. Yes. Recycle your bath water. <laughs> and send that's it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Please. But yeah, a very good song. I can see why that's a top 40 hit. It's got that very catchy um, uh, thing to it. It's got that chorus. It's sticky. It's great. Um, really fantastic. I love how she ends every track with that laugh. Like, you know, yeah. rappers have their taglines. You got you got Benny the Butcher to Butcher coming. And then like Peppa Pig laughs it off after the track. It's it's a very nice like signature butcher, touch. Like, she's a pig. So maybe she's like, you know, avoiding... The Benny the Butcher diss Benny. track. Yo, that's crazy. Beef with Benny. The hottest beef of 2022. All right. I think this next song, I'm going to guess. Okay. I'm going to just, I'm just going to do the speculation mm -hmm. and I could be mm -hmm. totally wrong. But my guess is that this is a huge criticism of number 45, Donald Trump. Mm. Because we know his famous quote is Bing Bong. Bing Bong. Bing Bing Bong Bong Bing Bing Bing. Gotcha. Yes, he did say that. So I think him being the Bing Bong champion. Mm. You okay. see Raining what I'm three time. Three time world champion. Right. That's okay. true. Yeah, I see. You might be onto something there. Let's see. Okay. Speed's driving. Going at him. Yeah. Yeah. 
Donald oh, Trump played tennis. <laughs> I'm with that picture. Tennis. <laughs> you know the one. You know the you one. Know one. This is the, the story of added on of this album. Mm. Which is weird because the instrumental is so bright. Yeah. Right. Really on that juxtaposition. I love it. This is about the polarization of the current society and the tribalization of the two parties. Uh, Join my team. No. And kill the other team. That's, I think why that's can't we all subject. just recycle? Why can't we all just kill? Them? Really empowering the listener. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Felt that in my soul. I needed that today. Women in the military. Mm. She shoots it high. Could be referencing that the the uh, the transgender man in the military. Mm. Could be. Or that women are short, and so that to shoot the male soldiers, they will have to shoot high. <laughs> <laughs> No. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is My a soccer. Peppa Pig or a Tech Nine record. It's ah. too fast. Peppa Pig stands with LGBTQ. Oh, of course. Who would have? I knew she was based. And the fade out. Perfect. Classic fade out. That's, that's um, a, it's a near perfect track. I yeah, think. I might put that one at the top. I think uh, that really, the beat, everything about that one was really fantastic. And the bing bong best can be stuck in my head for years. No doubt. Cool. Iconic. Cool. I get that tatted. It's a good message to live by. Be the bing bong best. You can bing bong be. I don't know what bing bong means. Do whatever you want it to mean. I think, yeah, I think it's very open to interpretation. Oh. Okay, well, that's nice. Great track. That was, a, that was really, nice. really empowering the listener mm-hmm. after, after the, the recycling track mm-hmm. about, you know, just really bringing everybody together to recycle and be good. We love Peppa for it's that. very uplifting and positive message that the world needs right now. Yes. Right. She's delivering. In these it. trying times. In these trying, unprecedented, unprecedented times. Unprecedented times. Say. Yeah. <laughs> I would say. Uncertain. The school bus song is next. We're going on a trip in the school bus. the adventure narrative from track one. It's back. The on the bus go round and oh, it's a sample. A good sample. Yeah. Did you just run over somebody? I think so. Oh, I thought that watch was it, Peppa. something completely whoa, whoa, whoa. different. Hold up, Peppa. <laughs> you gotta watch yourself. <laughs> Take it down a notch. What? You stole a fire engine? <laughs> Yo. Why is she in the fire engine? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Watch out. Nee-na-nee. Really? That's a little bit trite, isn't it? A little bit, Peppa. And poor taste, I would say. Yeah. I think that really tackled the issues of uh, transportation. Mm. Especially in America, the lack of public transportation. Exactly. I mean, like, you know, one one bus stopped and it required a, a helicopter, a fire department, an entire police department, a pickup and a truck, rocket. and a rocket ship a rocket. To, get, to get fixed. Just to get on a public bus. Because of the lack of public uh, or funding for public schools and public transportation mm-hmm. in general. Um, right. Quite a, quite a crisis disguised, disguised as a very happy and fun-loving track. Um I found it very interesting, very interesting way to tackle this issue. Not a lot of people are talking about it. Um, and it's hard to talk about it in a very compelling way in a track like this. So, well done. 
Yes. Peppa's saying what needs to be said. Mm. Right. Not necessarily Maybe. what's popular. Exactly. Right. I think both sides of the aisle might have some issues with what Peppa's saying in this track. Um, but hopefully they can look past it and make some change happen. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm a centrist. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> now I do want to point out yes. I do want to point out that Mr. Bull from digging with Mr. Bull, I believe mm. he was the bus driver. Yes. So maybe the bus got stuck and now they have to dig a hole to school. Mm. I think they're they're going to create a, a tunnel system mm. to get to school. Gotcha. Like Elon Musk. And it's and it's interesting. Ooh. It's interesting because the next track is digging with Mr. Bull. So I wonder if she's going on this elongated narrative, uh, a la Kate Maybe. Bush. This whole ninth wow. wave section of the album here. Yeah. Um, Maybe from six to nine. Yes. There's a little bit of a a little bit of a narrative. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All Let's right. Let's see. We'll see. Digging with Mr. Bull. Back in her industrial bag. I like it. Is this tackling the lack of public funding for roads? Mm. For infrastructure? Right after the transfer, transportation? Could be. Really, really zoning in on this issue. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> chill, <Peppa>. Yo, chill. <laughs> I have to censor that. It's a little bit yeah, too much. Might. I don't think you put that in. Uh, yeah. I forgot she's British. Yeah. That was so uncalled for. It really was. <laughs> Just in the middle of the song. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> We'd have to edit this video a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Bull. Thank you. Um, very good track. I, I love the industrial instrumental. Um, hmm. I love industrial stuff, so right up my alley with that one. But yeah, very vulgar track. I was not expecting that. <laughs> She's been... She's been very yeah, conscious no. of things so far. Hard R's. Like yeah. It was surprising. Yeah. Unsolicited. Just, yeah. out, of just out of nowhere. Yeah. Really strange. Um, but, I mean, you know, as an artist, you got to over exaggerate to get your point across sometimes. Right. Even if it's uh, go for it. very vulgar yeah. and maybe uncalled for. But um, I don't, I don't think, think it takes there's away too any much need to cancel her. No. You know, no. she's maybe saying what needs to be said. Yeah. But, you know. It's it's just all about fixing the road. It really is. At the end of the day, we're day. fixing roads. Yes. Right. The bipartisan American infrastructure bill will probably tackle this in the future. Mm. It definitely won't get shot down to a dollar amount that is too minuscule to really make an impact on local communities. Nope. Um, no, I wouldn't see that happening. Yeah, that would never happen. Um, we got two more tracks. Looks like we're going into more of a winter phase here with winter days, bars. Hmm. Feature me on the album, Peppa. Maybe some uh, cupcake influence here. <laughs> 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 wonder why she's enjoying the, the death of trees and her hat leaving strange. She's taking a very yeah. radical turn at the, the back half of this album here. Yeah. Right. That's where rain comes from? So no, I think it's oh. just for the song. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Yo. This is Yo. going to change. No, no, no. Oh, it's snowing in autumn? Are you kidding me? It's crazy. The season changed and the the tempo of the track changed. Yeah. I switch up from autumn to rain to snow. That's crazy. And now she's calling out snowflakes. Yo. <laughs> truly a centrist. Yeah. <laughs> truly a centrist. Laughing in the face of snowflakes. I did not expect the alt Calls for violence? Death threats? <laughs> what? 
Yeah. Um, I have an issue with that track. I, I think yeah. there's been a very like downward spiral of this album. She started off very, uh, very base calling out like, you know, the wars and the unjustified taking of oil. And now she's resorted to in the last track, just a very, very vulgar language. And now this one, mm. uh, calling for death threats for, uh, quote unquote snowflakes and alt alt right turn for term for, uh, you know, liberals or anybody with colored hair. Um, yeah, it's really weird. Um, and then, so, then she tried to save herself saying she likes all kind of what kinds of weather at the end of the track, which is kind of a, kind of a cover up, you know, that's the a whole, I got a black sure. friend. That, that's definitely a cop out. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's taking a you very know, weird turn. Maybe give her benefit. Maybe she's taking on that satire role. Again. It could be. It's it could just, be. you know, I it wasn't seeing the satire in it. Um, right. I guess we'll see if she saves it. Uh, last track, North Star Lullaby. Okay. Hope it doesn't put me to sleep. I hope not. Although that would be the point. True. Very gentle. She really likes talking about George Bush. I don't exactly know why that is. Not sure. Why is he a reoccurring character here? Maybe North Star is like a uh, like a god figure, mm. and she's lost, so she's looking for advice from the North Star. Right. That could be. That could be. You know, this makes a lot more sense because she's fallen into this very hateful trap of the last two tracks so this is kind of her plea mm, i've gone too right. far show me the light again. trying to repent exactly i see is this talking about when elon musk sent a car to space Yo. maybe maybe are they friends now? Maybe. You know, I'm I'm very conflicted because that was a very, it's very emotionally dense and beautiful track about, mm -hmm. you know, wanting to be better, looking for guidance. Um, but I mean, again, at the end though, you know, George Bush is back, and she, I don't know if she forgave him at the end there. It seems like she really dug deep and. Even though, despite differences in him being a war criminal, um, they really uh, she's able to forgive him. It's a very mm -hmm. beautiful message. It is. It is. We really need to get over the divisiveness. I think that's what she's mm. where it's like like a pure centrist. So yes, yeah. She he's so abhorrent. He's done a ton of terrible things, but we need to embrace each other and come back as Americans. Mm. And as a British cat, person, <laughs> as, as a British person, it says a lot about our worldly Western mm. society, I mm. think, is what she's. And maybe at. as a British person on the outside looking in, mm. she's trying to give us some advice. On what she I can see that I can as see a that. nation. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But that is the whole record. Um, wow. That was a, it was a very, uh, very good experience. Um, can definitely see why this was on par with Donda. I don't know if I can say I could like I like it more than Donda yet. Um, mm. I feel like it's too close to call. I might have to do more repeated listens on this one. Um, but she didn't have to do any listening events or anything crazy. She just dropped no. it and then yeah. shut up about it and let the music talk for itself, really. Um, but yeah, fantastic album, I think. Um, mm -hmm. She's definitely one of the best up and comers right now. Um, for sure. I think yeah. Bing Bong Champion is going to be my, my best track from mm. this. You know, I, I like a good controversial pick, so I'm probably going to go with Digging with Mr. Bull. Ooh. Just because I really enjoyed the infrastructure messages that she was getting it. And, you know, England has notoriously worse, the worst infrastructure. Have you mm. seen their roads? Have you seen a British person? Have you ever seen a British person <laughs> try to make a bridge? It doesn't really work. It doesn't so really go very well. It doesn't go very well. We have many famous bridges here in America, and they have no famous bridges. So I can't think of one. I can't think of a None. single famous bridge. No bridge. famous bridges in Britain. <laughs> so, you know what? I like that. Mm. And I did like the hard R, even though it might be controversial. I think Artistic it was, statement. I think it was an artistic statement. Okay. Is all. okay. Yeah. 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 I think I might go with North Star, the closer. Mm. Wow. Kind of. Truly the basketball shoes of this album. Really kind is. of really 
wrapping it all together and kind of giving you this nice package of a message that she's trying to give to you. Um, really empowering the listener to follow in her footsteps or her be a better purse. Her, yeah. What a, what her, pigs have. Uh, <laughs> uh, steps. Yeah. Make hoof. up with. <laughs> yeah. But so, um, yeah, yeah, that was a very very interesting experience. I have a lot to think about. Yeah. Um, thanks for suggesting. It. Yeah, thanks Just for all the suggestions. I know a lot of people were asking for this and like, mm-hmm. why why aren't you doing Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig's like the best new rapper out there right now. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't listen to you guys, but now I understand. Um, mm. That's my bad, but I'm glad that we did it. Um, so, let us know what you want us to react to next. We have a ton of things on the wheel, so if you react or if you uh, request something, there's like a point five percent chance that we'll do it. Just know that. But we got LP coming next, so I know uh, in the underground hip hop scene, Peppa Pig and Peggy are probably you know, similar wavelengths for fan bases. So, you know, if you like Peggy, stick around. That's next week. They should make a collab album and call it Peppa Peg. Ooh. Ooh. Peggy Peggy Pig. Pig. Peggy Pig. Pig. J Peggy J Piggy Mafia. J Pig Mafia. J Pig Mafia. (laughs) I'll get Peggy. You didn't hear from me. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah. I hope you all enjoyed that. I know I did. I have no closer. Close the window. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>